Welcome to the first ever episode of ways to spend your money on camera gear that you don't actually need, but you're going to buy it anyway, just because you can. My name is Francho Maswabi, and this is Midweek Cam In the series, we're going to spend most of our time going through what are the latest camera news that came through during the course of the previous week, seeing what is updates from all of the camera brands. And wait, come here. Come closer. I heard some rumors. Out of the presses, Daikon has officially released the 50mm f1.4, similar to the 35mm f1.4 that was released about a month ago, if I'm correct. They posted an update this morning saying that the Nikon 50mm is officially out there. The Nikon 50mm, obviously, it's not part of the S line. You have a cheaper 50mm f1.4 that for the average camera connoisseur, still give you a nice quality absolutely beautiful photo or video all of the information i will link in the description below as well as over the past couple of months the canon eos r5 mark ii as well as the canon eos r1 has been the hot topic when it comes to canon and the hot topic at the moment is the fact that there's absolutely no stock so there's an delay in actually shipping out the canon these two models of cameras and it was i don't think canon expected the r5 mark ii to sell as hot as it actually has and as you can see now, now they, actually, now they don't have any stock at the moment. So there's apparently a six month backlog when it comes to these two, these two, these two specific models of cameras, the R5 Mark II as well as the R1. If you wanted to spend money on a camera, you just need to be a little bit more patient. Two weeks ago, Sony officially launched the 85mm f1.4 G, uh, G Master 2 lens as well. And there's a lot of reviews out of the, uh, out at the moment as well. So all of you big creators has already put out a lot of information regarding it. And I know that there's a lot of people that have actually been waiting for this lens as well. The previous G Master that came on the 85mm f1.4 G Master was in 2016. So it's eight years later, you're only getting an upgrade on the specific lens. You know, all of these things that I'm actually speaking about, I wish I could have some of these things just in my hand, just sniff it out and just play around and just go, okay, I can see what all the hype is all about. But yeah, we'll get there one day. DJI has officially launched a 75 millimeter lens that goes on, and I think it's primarily made for the Inspire 3, if I'm correct. The introduction video was posted a couple of days ago, and you can see from the quality of this thing, it's absolutely stunning. This is not for your average drone pilot or not for your average drone guy. This is obviously for someone that does a lot more of commercial and those type of shoots. Now you have the option of buying yourself a 75 millimeter lens to attach to your Inspire 3. There obviously should be attachments that would be available for any other bigger commercial type drones that is out there. However, we don't know yet. They haven't, they haven't stipulated or I haven't seen anything related to that specifically because in, in everything that I've seen so far regarding the 75mm, it's all pointing towards the Inspire 3. Let's hope, let, let's, 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 let's sit back and wait and see what they're actually planning to do with the specific thing because if it is that it is coming to others, then yeah, there's, there's a, I, I believe that there's a big market for it as well. And I think that this is a specific targeted audience that the 75mm was brought out for. That might have been a request from people as well. Also, so 75mm is out. A brand that has not really spoken about that mark that often. I've seen a lot of videos regarding this specific brand. Like, TT Artisan has officially launched a 100mm f2.8 macro lens for the Fujifilm. They make cinematography lenses, they make prime lenses. A lot of the prime lenses came out initially with your manual focus only. They then started to push out your autofocus lenses so gradually as well. I've been planning to buy myself one just to test it out as well. I haven't gotten that far yet, but yeah. TT Artisan 100mm f2.8 macro lens available now for the Fujifilm. My photo is usually associated with monopods, tripods, and those type of things. So from a stabilization perspective, this is what they do. But my photo has officially launched a 2400mm lithium-ion battery for Sony camera. The battery is red. My initial response to it was that, okay, 
Man, Frodo is a brand for tripods, monopods, stabilization type of thing. Now you're moving into the battery space, or into the battery market, or that type of thing. Will they make it? If this battery proves that it stands the test of time, then definitely it will definitely make it. Do you remember the Canon C70, the cinema camera that was released a while back? So now there's an update, there's a, apparently there's a Canon C80 that's coming. So this is, this is still rumored, it's not, it's not officially confirmed yet. Still speculated that there's a Canon C80, this will be obviously an up from the Canon C70, also a cinema camera, cinematographer's camera, so majority of your content creators as well as your videographers, they're focusing a lot more on cinematography and so forth, so you will see a lot more cinematography cameras coming out. And hopefully with these releases of these cinematography cameras, you'll see a drop in the prices of these things because these things are still damn expensive. $10,000, $12,000, whatever the case may be. If you're enjoying this and you like the new look and feel, I would appreciate a thumbs up. I would appreciate a subscribe to the channel. And as I mentioned earlier on everything that I have mentioned here, I will add links in the description below for you to go and read it yourself. Um, so that you know that I'm not speaking through my neck. Yeah. <laughs> I'll also add product links in the description below for older brand, for older products as well as the newer products. Please note that those links are affiliate links as well. And on that note, the Sigma 10 to 18 mm DC lens f2.8 is currently available. They initially mentioned that the thing that shipping would be expected on the 26th of September, but you can already buy it from a lot of places. I see that uh, in South Africa, a lot of the stores already has it. BNH Photo, BNH has it. There's a lot of other places that sell it as well. So I don't know where the initial statement came from that you can only get it, it's only available on the 26th of September for shipping. However, it's in stores already. So there was a bit of a mess up with that information. So guys, thank you very much for watching the first episode of how to spend your money on camera gear that you don't really need, but you're going to go buy it anyway, just because you can. AKA